and welcome to another vlog. If you like travel, food and reviews, then consider subscribing. Well, hit that like button as well if you like our videos. Welcome to another Mark and Kelly's Trips Tips and Things. We're going to spend a couple of nights in the centre of London and we're staying at the Strand Palace. Here we are, we're at the Strand Palace and we are literally on the Strand in London. There it is. And as you can see, we're approaching Christmas. So there's the Christmas decks, complete with a theatre production of Pretty Woman just across the street. Let's go in. So I've just arrived in the room and let's have a little look around. So here we go. This is the main room. Now it's, it's quite a nice little size. I'm going to avoid the bathroom. I'm going to go in there in a second. So we've got a nice big double bed. With a mirror. There's Kelly. We've got the uh, TV on the side. So this is a uh, luxury this deluxe. Deluxe, sorry, not deluxe, yeah. luxury, deluxe. <laughs> it, it looks like a luxury, but it's actually a deluxe uh, room. And uh, I like it, it's small, but what do you expect in London? Do you know what I mean? I, I think that's pretty much standard of any sort of like London hotel or any city hotel, should I say. But it's spacious in this area. You've got your little um, chair there and uh, a little table. Unfortunately, they haven't put two chairs in here. But I'm, so, I'm sure you could ask for another chair because there's plenty of space which would be just there. Um, obviously, you'd move your suitcase, but there is a luggage rack just there. Yeah, there is. So I'll just go to the bed. There's the luggage rack. So I'll just show you around this side of the room. You've got the artwork there, the mirror. You can see there, the bed. Now, with this type of room, with a deluxe room, you do get, she said, a free mini bar. So this room cost us for two nights uh, just under £530. So as you can see that they have an espresso machine and with it you do get the coffee, which I believe is in here. Yeah, so I get a choice of four coffees that I can go for. Um, Obviously your tea and your coffee. Then we've got the mini bar here, which Kelly's gonna Don't open. know how to open it, but yeah. Oh yeah, yeah it, so you it push. is a push. And like I say, this is included in the price. So we get quite a few drinks here. We've got water, Coke, well, and, uh, is that ginger beer? No, it's lager, Camden Wells lager. So you do get booze with it. And we've also got here a few little snacks. So they've got uh, cookies and uh, crisps, a couple of chocolate bars, I don't know uh, if the snacks are free, but definitely the drinks are free, but we can find that out later. But what I love about this little fridge here is there is space enough if you wanted to bring back a couple of snacks or something. But the fact that it's free um, is, is brilliant with this deluxe room. So you can have your Cokes, your waters and that for free and i think that's brilliant so we've also got as well have a little look here um teas which are here english breakfast little coffees uh obviously your sugar and a couple of hot chocolates i don't know if we drink these today if we were to drink these today would they replenish them i'm not sure we'll find out um i'm sure we could ask yeah and find out 
but I just wanted to also point out you have some uh, sockets here yeah you also have sockets and USBs that's always uh, handy yeah and I think it's always handy to have them by the bed a lot of places that you go to you never have the sockets and the USBs by the bed um, and it's across the room or somewhere like that so the fact that we've got some sockets here we've got some sockets on the wall again with the USB you can also have I believe this is European socket right here oh okay and next to it is the American socket oh, I yeah. think so you can actually plug in your gadgets there Look at that. So if you are coming from the States or from Europe or anywhere else in the world, it got the sockets there already. You do not need the adapter. You don't need the adapter. I'm assuming on this side it will be the same. So you have your reading lamp right here, but I don't know how you switch it. Oh, look, you've got a little side lamp right there, which is brilliant. Us with it. Yeah. OK, and then, oh, that switches it off. That switches it on. And, and that switches on the main and light. And of course, you don't have the adapters there, but you do have your main socket and your uh, USBs. Yeah. Perfect. So that's brilliant. Side table. Side table. Now, they did say to us, no room service. No room service. But uh, I think she said there is... Uh, no, there's room service until 8.45, oh, I think okay. she said. And there is uh, a drink service, I think, until 11.00. Um, so that's very good. But there's no actual housekeeping so while you're staying here for the couple of days and let you can request for new towels and things like that but during your stay because of co we're still within covid times there's nobody that actually comes in your room i'm sure you can request somebody to come in your room but as a standard there's nobody that comes to the room to clean it for you so there there we are so quite quickly i'm just going to take you around to here so this is the closet just to show what you get here so we put our coats in here on the rack so you get a few rack uh coat hangers there spare towels up there there is a safe as you can see here um, the dry cleaning bag with the dry cleaning prices so let me just have a look if you do want anything dry cleaned if i can just zoom into there these are the prices there so you can see for a suit is 18 pounds a two-piece suit three-piece suit is 19 pound 50 dinner suit evening dress there you go that's pretty much the all the laundry prices there so the idea is you tick what you want put it into that bag and then um, they will do that for you. And at the bottom there, I believe that is a hairdryer. Let me just double check that it is. Uh, yep, hairdryer in there. So they do have that there. Uh, and there's the ironing board. I can't see the iron. I think it's underneath my coat. Oh, is it? So it will be Oh yeah, there it is. So there is an iron there if you do want to iron stuff, which is good if you're going out. That's a little closet. And then just as a final, let's check out the bathroom because we passed that on the way in. Here we go. Nice little compact bathroom there. So you've got a uh, things to hang on, a robe or anything there. You've got your mirror, the shaving socket there, glasses, yes. Uh, Obviously for the hot water. I don't know what this is. This is quite interesting on there. I don't know what that is at all. Oh, it's a little shower bit. So if I turn it on, it comes out there. Almost like a little shower unit. I don't know if that's a filter, but interesting. Never seen that before on a tap. Um, toilet, of course. Nice little look. And there's the shower. Now the shower is quite nice actually. It's a walk-in shower. As you go through there, extra towels there. And uh, there we have it, nice, compact, nice and clean. And it smells clean in here too. There's actually one more thing I wanted to point out. So while we are actually on the strand, so as you can see here, um, and you've oh, got the yes. Christmas lights there, um, the windows are filthy. They are really filthy, but we do have quite a good view. We're on the third floor here on the Strand, so you can just see out the front of the window. Yeah, we are November. And it's very mild outside. Although 
um, even if they did clean the windows regularly, they would get filthy anyway because obviously with all the cars and the buses and everything going along. So it's to be expected here. Um, but There's I just pretty woman, sorry, I was just going to say. Oh, here. yeah. Um, I just wanted to show something. Um, so I was wondering where the curtains were because the lights are on, it's going to be like super bright. But ah, you so have the shutters right here, these sliders. Very neat. And that will block out the light. Actually, blocks out a bit the sound as yeah, well. Yeah, I was going to say actually, I can't hear any of the traffic yeah. noise. So it does sort of. Yeah, because now I can hear and then I close. And I can barely hear it. Can still hear it, but just barely. Um, I also wanted to point out the bed. I feel the bed is quite small. Um, it'll be okay for us because we're only here for a couple of nights. Um, but it is quite small. It's not as small as one of the other beds that we stayed in recently in August. That bed was really small. So this bed is slightly bigger than that, which is grateful. Uh, but yeah, all in all, I really like it. Nice room. I do yeah. too. I think we'll have a good uh, couple of days here. I'm looking forward to it. Um, and like I said, just a few little odds as well. Got the heating on. There's the air con if, it, if you do come in the summer. Mm. There we have. There we have it. So, so we hope you like this little room review. If there's anything that else that pops up, we'll sort of let you know. But this is the general overall. We've, we've literally just come in. So you're seeing it for the first time as we're seeing it for the first time. So yeah, we really like it. the piazza look at all the holly above the giant holly Garden Piazza, which is different to the Jubilee Market. You have lots of shops, you've got the Shake Shack, they've got all these sort of little eateries with little booths in. If you see if you go down the stairs here you come into the beautiful sort of courtyard of the piazza
as you can hear there are so many uh, entertainers street entertainers and uh, we've just come out of the piazza and you can see all the cobble streets entertainment over there but look how when it's starting to sort of darken how pretty all the lights look So we took a little turn down from Covent Garden and we've just spotted this place which looks so quaint. So we're going to have a little look inside. So this is St Paul's Church. What they're doing, they're actually selling uh, charity Christmas cards on sale here. So let's have a look inside. As you can see, there's a quaint little green just right here. You've got all these sort of seats here and here. They've lit it up quite well. Um, but it's just so quiet and just off the beaten track, really. And so we popped in and we just thought we really have to come and see the beautiful lights, the little courtyard, the green. Oh, there's a choir inside, so I'm not going to pop in. But they look like they... Let me see if I can zoom in. So there we go. They're all there. Sort of about to sing or practice whatever hymn it is. They're going to sing. And as you can see, you, if you pop out this way, let's go this way. So like, you've got all these sort of like quiet seats here. Yeah. and I imagine this during the day to be very very busy like people coming out for their lunch We've got the old flooring here here you are And that, if you see the red sort of Christmas lights there, is where we were earlier in the Jubilee Market. So we're about to go into Buns and Buns. I've not been here before, so it's our first time. Let's go in and give it a try. So we're here at Buns and Buns, ready to try out food. I've ordered a few buns and Mark has ordered the pizza. So let's see what happens when it comes. But it's a beautiful setting and it's right in the middle of the piazza in Covent Garden. But if you look at the decor, it's beautiful. Here we are. And we, as Kelly said, we are right in the middle of Covent Garden. You can see all the shops to one side. So here we are in Buns and Buns. Just 
zoomed in. It's quite dark in here, so let's check out. There we are. Thai chili prawn. Looks good. Yeah. Right, and there we are. Good. Flavorful. Oh, okay. Yeah, I can see there's a sauce in there. It's just a little bit sharp. So this is the one I can try. I didn't mean to take all that corn, so it's alright. I took the bite too. That's good, yeah, it's quite sharp the um the sauce. So that's good, it's got a nice stick in it. Yeah. That's a big thumbs up. Oh, okay. Okay, so I'm just finishing off now. Really? Maybe about a minute or two. 
too overdone. But other than that, and I don't mind pork being a slightly overdone anyway, but that might, um, other people might not like that. So now you've tried all three, which has been your favourite? Oh, the ball. There we are. So you heard it here, folks. Uh, buns and buns. The best one is the ball. Well, I haven't tried the beef, but maybe another time. So we came out of buns and buns. Like I said at the top of the video, we've not been here before. But the food was really good. It was a bit pricey for what we had because uh, Mark had a uh, four cheese pizza, which really was a three cheese pizza with even more parmesan on it. And then I had three buns uh, plus some fries and a Fanta. And it came to, how much did it come to? Just under £52 with service charge. Right, there we go. So I felt that was a little bit pricey for what we had, but not unusual in the centre of, you know, Covent Garden, the centre of London pretty much. So uh, I really enjoyed the food. The best was the pork belly. That was so good. What about you? Yeah, I was going to say my cheese pizza was really, really good. Um, I did enjoy it, but I agree with you. A little on the pricey side. Yeah. Now, just to prove that we are in the centre of Covent Garden, look at that. There's the Apple Market there. We are Christmas, so you can see all the decorations there. But we are right in the centre, and here is Buns and Buns. So it pretty much is central, central Covent Garden. There you go. So if you're ever looking for Buns and Buns, you'll know that it's right near the Apple Market, in the Piazza, and you've got Buns and Buns. But if you do come here, just remind yourself, it's a little bit pricey. It was £27 for a lobster roll. Now, I would have loved to have had the lobster roll, but I didn't want to pay to know £27. Again, like I said, pricey. So, it just uh, bear that in mind, but definitely come here to eat, at least just to try it. The food's really good.
So here we are in Leicester Square and La Clique have got a Christmas in Leicester Square, well, like a Christmas market really. You can see around, there we are, Leicester Square. There's the main area. There is the M&M store. And this is the main square. So we're gonna go inside. It's free entry, free to have a look around. So we're gonna have a little look. Let us go. So one of the places we've got here are the mini pancakes you can buy here. Um, there you are, you can just see there, Dutch pancakes. And they do Nutella, Lotus, white chocolate, cherries, jams, all for £6 for little mini pancakes. So they've got these little spinny things that they're selling here. I can't see the prices as yet, but they do look quite cool when they spin. Love that skull. So if you are after burgers, french fries, or German sausages, they've got them here. There you go. Cooking on the grill there, there's bacon bits as well there, and fries. So there we are, German sausages here in Leicester Square. They've also got chocolate fountains there. They've got white chocolate and milk chocolate there. And you can have your choice of things there. So marshmallow or strawberries or strawberry and banana. So five pounds for the little uh, kebab is almost like strawberries and banana. And they've also got pots you can use. So this guy is actually selling maps, raw maps that you can buy. These little trays and uh, glasses there. And also as well, you can see here, different trinkets and uh, various jewellery. We've got this scented eco uh, wax, whatever that is. There's baubles, well oh, there's the wax there. Various uh, trinkets and baubles to go on the tree. This lady will actually etch your name or name of your choice on your bauble. So you can have that done here. This guy will does the same as well. They are actually etching names onto the bauble. There's actually a pick and mix kingdom of sweets. Pick and mix here. Look at the variety you've got here. There's quite a lot of sweets here. Right in the centre. You can actually get huge like licorice laces and strawberry laces here there's plenty here for the bigger mix so this is one booth where you can actually get your face imprinted in an album if you're interested in that booth